guys and welcome back. I'm JB3 and this is FIFA 19 Youth Edition with Morkham FC. In this episode we get started off with the end of December. We come off a big win, an emphatic win at that 2-0 we pick up three points and move into 10th in the table, but we continue on with Cambridge United in our December 22nd clash. They're a lower team. We usually struggle against them. They're 19th on the table, so not much lower than us, but we're going to hope to pick up three more points. We have our full team back. We're all caught up on stamina so we don't have any fatigue issues so we're gonna hope we can pick up some more points i think i'm gonna put henry back in that cam role so you see tavares there now i'm gonna replace him with henry that new 16 year old that came out of the youth academy the u.s cam see if maybe that makes a difference with our offense see if we can continue to keep on scoring goals there see if maybe he can replace tavares in that central forward position but with that said let's get started against Cambridge United and we will get this game underway Adebola gets it right back to Tremblay and then Adebola brings it up Park gets it takes a long shot but goes a mile wide of the net no good Gomez Adam Bullet brings it right up the middle of the field. Long into Gomez, and he gets on the end of it. Looks for the cross, but Carroll heads it out. Going to be a corner kick for Morecambe FC. Good positioning here. Adam Bola. And it's broken up. Short corner from Cambridge United. Cross in. Cabral breaks it up, but doesn't get it clear. Long shot, but Awazi's there. No trouble for him. And a bola right onto Park. Burns. Oh, tries to get the through ball, but it lands at Gomez's feet and he passes it back to Adabola. Who's gonna get it wide? Turnover, but it lands. Tremblay gets the shot, hits a deflection. Goes out for a corner. Adabola, a lot of deflection. No real shot on goal. But Adabola gets this corner in. Header in. No good. Adabola settles it. Gets it to Park, who tries to get it to Fuentes, but can't turn and shoot before it's hit out by Cambridge United. A lot of pressure in the box. Good positioning so far, but no real shots on net. Tremblay lands it to Adabola, who tries to get a shot off, but goes wide. Cabral carries it up. Two minutes of added time. Tremblay gets it to Henry. Henry on the Tremblay, but can't get on the end of it for a last-second shot to end the half. This will be the last buildup for Cambridge United, most likely. And it is. That'll end the first half. Good pressure. We got the ball into the box a lot, but couldn't really get any clean shots off. Nothing to really pressure the keeper, so that's going to have to be the improvement in the second half for Morecambe FC. Tremblay gets the turnover and drives down the field, fights off the defense, circles it back. Park lays it off to Burns. Had a good positioning, but just... Couldn't get that final person in. And now we'll reset on the edge of the box. Tremblay gets it out wide to Adabola. Adabola holds it up, gets it over to Burns. Burns takes a long shot, and it's going to go wide of the net. Fuentes gets the ball down the long side. Looks for Gomez in the middle, but the cross is hit out, and it goes in for the corner. Adabola, another chance at the corner. Gets it long. Cabral gets it. Oh, but it lands at Adabola's feet, and he's off sides. That's always the worst part about these plays where you get it, but Ado, you know, the guy who takes the corner kick never gets on sides quick enough in FIFA. Oh, Henry gets it. Park laying on the ground. Breaks it up. 
Tremblay tries to get the pass to add a bullet, but doesn't. Henry in on net. Hits the post. Could have been his first goal and only his second game. Gomez breaks it up. Long pass in behind the defense from Henry. Gomez down the line. Tries to get it to Park, but it goes over and out for a throw in. So we will make three changes with only a few minutes left. Cuddy, Menzies, Kerr come on for Fuentes, Tremblay, and somebody else. Gomez, time winding down. Only two minutes. Oh! Try to get the shot off, but it's blocked again. Counter on for Cambridge United. And that'll do it. We end nil-nil. We dominate the game again. So that's going to be a frustrating one. We had a lot of shots. A lot of shots of were blocked throughout the game. Just couldn't quite get it past the goalkeeper. Although, better performance overall. We held possession. We held the shots. Just couldn't get any clean shots on this defense. Not a whole lot going. Cambridge United really didn't do much, even though they had five shots, two on target. Nine shots, two on target for us. We'll go through the performances. Josh Tremblay, a 6, 7.6. Jordan Burns, 6.3. Awazi, a 7.0. Cabral, 6.9. Branko, 7.4. Cruz, 7.2. Gomez, 7.4. Kerr, 6.3. Menez, 6.0. Adebola, 7.6. Cuddy, 5.9. Henry, 7.3. Park, 6.3. Fuentes, 6.4. So after that draw, we move on to our second game of the episode here on Boxing Day. We do make some changes with this being a quick Thursday game after that Saturday. And we want to make sure everyone's also rested for the Saturday game. We're going to have Park and Tavares up front. We're going to have Fuentes, Kerr, Atabola, Gomez, and Menez in the middle. And then we have Cruz, Branco, Cabral, and Awazi at the back. So we will get into this. We take on Tranmere Rovers, who are third from the bottom so that probably means it's going to be a close game as we don't do well against the bottom side teams. But hopefully we can turn our luck around, get three points, and keep moving up the table as we only have two games left before the January transfer window opens. And with the rain coming down, we will get this game underway. Park, quick turnover. Gets past the defense and he's got space. Defense closes down and cuts out the ball and clears it before he can get the shot off. At a bowl. Turns it on to Gomez. Gomez with space. Has Kerr coming down the side. Gets behind the defense, but George is there to make the save, and it's going to go out for a corner. Kerr in a great position. Great shot. Just couldn't get it past him. Didn't have a real great angle. And the corner is there. Adebola will look to get it in again. Adebola launches it in. Fuentes header in its home. Off the corner. Fuentes sits the near post and heads it away. And it's in for the goal. Just way to start the game. Seven minutes in. Adebola, the captain, throws it in. And we got another goal. Let's go, shrimp. Look at this. We finally get the corner connected after sending so many of them long. Fuentes gets up and sends it right over the keeper's head. They had near post really locked down. Really good marking, but Fuentes is still able to find the net. McLaughlin into Smith on the edge of the box. Caprice looks for that cross, gets it. Millen puts it in. Oh, oh, and then we give up another quick goal again to a lower side, which kills me on the cross. We just can't mark. It seems like we always let them in just slightly behind. Here comes the pass right in behind, right into that center spot. And he just nicks the post and gets it in. And we see what happens when you miss Magnuson. 
at center back. We have Cabral in, but we lose that central defender who can really hold that back line together. And now it's tied 1-1. Adebola. Right into Gomes. Tavares fires it, and it's in. Tavares makes up after being out for two games. He makes up for it and puts it home. Helps us take the lead, and he puts in another goal. He's been struggling to score. We took him out for Henry, and that lit the fire for Tavares. He gets in position, gets a good first touch, and puts that goal home. And that is going to be... Another goal for Tavares. I believe that is his second for the season. Gets it off before the defense can get there. And the goalie just can't move his feet to get wide enough. And it is in. 2-1 Morecambe FC. McLaughlin comes in quick for Tranmere, out wide, gets it to Jennings, who lays it off. Right back to Jennings, who looks for that cross. Branko's there to at least get a touch to it. A chance to break away now on the counter. Strong challenge. Park. Oh, would have been dangerous if he got it to Gomez. Smith gets it out wide. Going to look for another cross. He does. He finds it. Owazi gets a hand to it and keeps this game at 2-1. Another great play from Awazi. In the corner, now played in for Tranmere Rovers. Comes in. Good header, but going to go wide. For another corner for Tranmere Rovers. High, lofted ball, and Mullen gets another one. And balls across the field seem to be our death sentence every single time. This time it's a corner, not a cross. But all the same, high ball. We just can't get any height, and it goes right past Awazi, who's really got to get a touch to that. The defense just doesn't seem to be able to jump high enough in this team. Those headers are always the danger ball for us. And now it is tied 2-2 as we come to the end of the second or the first half. Only a few minutes remain. Three minutes to go in the final part of the first half. And Smith gets it in. It's blocked. McLaughlin digs it in. Smith looking for that cross. Branko blocks it. It's going to go out for a corner. Should be the end of the half after this if we can get it cleared. And Tranmere Rovers will line it up. It's going to go long. It's going to go to Gomez. Takes a bad first touch. Off to Jennings. And the ball is going to go out. And that's going to end the first half. A lot of action. Tied 2-2. Got to play better on those crosses. Going to have to try and get another goal in. Going to have to try and stop Paul Mullen, who had one goal before this, but now has three in the league as we head into halftime. Cuddy gets it to Anabola, right to the center for Park. Park gets around the defense, fires it, and it's in the net. Another long shot for Park, and that seems to be his favorite. Keeps launching him from outside the box and keeps putting him in. 
Now it's three to two. Morecambe FC finding the net and finding the offense during this season. Park gets his seventh of the season. And we take the lead here with 60 minutes into the game. Park gets around the defense, finds a little space, and puts it right in the top corner. So in an effort to sure up the defense, we're going to move to a 4-4-1-1. We're going to put Green in the middle. We're going to put Cuddy on the outside, Kerr and Menez on the wings. And then we're going to put uh, Adebola. We're going to drop him back to the center back role. So we're going to have Cruz, Adebola, Branco, and Cabral across the back line. Hopefully we can sure this game up and go in for a 3-2 victory. Green will get another shot, but it goes right into the goalkeeper's. Tavares wins the header. Park gets it on the green. Who tries to get it back to Park. Park will take another long shot, but it goes over the net. Final minutes of the half. 84 minutes, only six to go. So time winding down. Only three minutes of stoppage time. We're going to have to f hold off one last attack from Tranmere Rovers. Smith gets it right back to Caprice. Back to Smith. Caprice driving, gets that cross at a bullet, touches it. Menzez gets it, but turns it over. Oh, and a late foul by Adabola, who tried to just toe poke it out. And it's going to be a free kick and a yellow card. Hopefully, we can defend this last little bit. A free kick could decide it. They bring in the second kicker, they launch it, it goes over the bar, and that should do it for us here. We get another win, we win in a shootout of our lower level squad, we finally turn our fortunes away. Where we were struggling with the bottom teams, we finally get a win against one in a game we should have won, and hopefully that'll move us right up the table. Park gets his seventh goal and the game winner. Definitely another game. We seem to have turned the corner since the end of November. December has been good to us. We get another game where we have nine shots. Hold most of the possession with 54%. Park, a 9.2. Tavares, an 8.5. Gomez, an 8.0. Fuentes, an 8.1. Awazi, a 7.0. Cabral, 7.5. Brinko, 7.7. Menez, 7.2. Cuddy, a 6.7. Kerr, a 7.1. Adabola, an 8.8. .8. Cruz, a 7.8. Green, a 5.6. And that'll do it for us. So we're back here for game three against 10th place Colchester. We're going to make a couple changes as we have our second game in just four days. So we're going to drop Adabola back to center back. For Branco, we're going to bring Green in to replace Adebola at central defensive midfielder. And then we're going to put Henry in the center forward position in replace of Tavares. So hopefully we can get three points. We can go out of the December month on a high note with three points. And hopefully we can go into January in the winter transfer window and improve this team and keep moving up along the table in League 2. And we will get this game underway. Henry gets it over, gets it to Park, who gets behind the defense. Oh, and he's taken down just on the edge of the box. That's going to be a penalty for Morecambe FC after the nice pass. Springs Park past the defense. He holds it up. Tries to make the turn, but Ryan Jackson takes him down in the box, and that's going to be a yellow card. And Fuentes is going to line it up, try and break that scoring streak. Actually, I think we're going to change it here. We're going to put Park in. He earned the penalty. He can earn the goal and try and go for his eighth of the season. He lines it up. And the goalkeeper gets to it, though. Just couldn't get it over him. He gets the right side, and it's out. 
Henry wins the ball. Gets it on to Tremblay, who gets it into Burns, who holds it up. Gets it to Park, who can't take that first touch and put it in the net. Henry gets it to Burns. Deflection, can't get the shot off. And it's cleared again, but pressure is on for Morecambe FC. Getting in good positions, just can't seem to finish. Oh, Green turns it over. They get the shot off. Oh! And Awazi just can't make the save. It just floats over. And another one of those plays where the goalkeeper just doesn't really ever move his feet. If he just ran to that back corner and closed it off, he would have had the save. And just a poor play by Awazi, but also a bad turnover. Just a little flick. But Awazi just never committed to getting back to the net. He hits the, he sets, jumps and sets his feet, and then just never moves. One nil though, Colchester. Burns on the park, gets it through to Henry. Oh, block shot! Can't get the touch to get it in the net. Henry again, unlucky, right at the edge of the net. Just can't get the toe poke to get it through the net. One last run for Colchester as time winds down in the first half. He draws it back out wide. Going to look for the cross on the last possession. And does, but Burns gets the clear. And that should just about wrap it up, and it does. We'll go into the half. 1-0. Unlucky on a turnover in our own half. But we go in. We've been playing well. We've been putting on shots. Just got to keep trying to convert. Hopefully one of these unlucky goals will go in. Oh, and Cabral takes it off the face and it's out for a corner for Colchester. It looks like they're going to go short corner again. And they do. They get the header in and it goes off the bar. Into Gomez, who gets it to Henry. Henry keeps driving, gets the shot wide off the post, but Burns taps in the rebound. Oh, but he's offside. Oh, my Lord. And again, unlucky. Park gets it from Tremblay. Tremblay out wide. Gets it to the middle of the park. Park takes the shot, but it's going to be blocked again. Out for a corner, Morecambe FC. Oh, we lay it off right in front of the net. Oh, my Lord. What a terrible play. Just lands right at his feet, and we gift them a second goal that should wrap up this game. They send in the cross. It goes long right to Cuddy's feet, but he can't handle the first touch, and it goes right into the back of the net. Green. Long to Gomez, who tries to get it in to Tavares, who gets it off, but it's blocked. And the fatigue is just setting in. Henry to Tavares, who tries to get it to Okora, who just can't get the shot off. Those first touches are just killing us. Where hits the foot, and just can't be controlled. Another low cross comes in. Dickerson gets the shot off. And again, the crosses kill us. And we let up another goal. Three on the night. Cabral just misses his man, and it goes right over Awazi's head. And time will run down here. Three minutes of stoppage time. Colchester up 3-0. And they'll just ride it out. Not much to do here, but let this time run. And as soon as we come to a stoppage, this game will be over. They go for the cross. It goes out. And that'll do it. 3-0. An ugly game. We let up 
many a goal, too many. But we had good opportunities, just couldn't finish on the night offensively. Unlucky for us. And we finished December with a 3-0 loss. Look at the performances. Josh Tremblay, a 7.8. Kyle Gomez, 6.2. Tyler Green, 7.4. Cuddy, a 5.5. Should have had an assist because he gifted the ball right to the feet of the Colchester player. Tavares, a 6.5. Acora, 6.1. Park, 7.4. Burns, a 6.4. Fuentes, 6.1. Awazi, a 6.3. Cabral, a 6.8. And Atabola a 6.2. We take a look at the stats for the team. Lucas Park leads us with seven goals, with Fuentes right behind him with six. But then we have a big drop off where Tavares is at three, and Gomez is also at three, where he actually scored like three right in the course of like two games, but hasn't really scored since. We have our assist, Atabola at six, running the midfield, Tavares at four. And then we have a drop-off where everyone's at two and one. So not really concerned there. We just got to be trying to score more goals, hopefully. And we end the month in the first half of the season. We sit in ninth position at 34 points, just off the pace of the table where we are five out of playoff promotion. So you can see first place, Swindon Town is at 51, Mansfield Town 45, and Grimsley Town at 44 in the top three. And then we sit down in ninth, just outside of it. We're at 34. Forest Green sits at 39. But goal differential is going to hurt us. We're still at minus three after that shellacking from Colchester. And you can see that's a big swing because now they sit just above us at 36. If we had won that game, it would have been flipped. And we would have been just a couple points out. But we go into January. We have Carlisle coming up on the first and then we'll get into our youth squad report but i want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications so you can find out when all the newest videos are coming out and then make sure to leave a comment of what you want the players to look like if you want to change numbers or kits or formations let me know be happy to switch it up for you but until next time guys have a good one